think for both running and customer service, you have to do both because strategically, to your point, is the long game. Where are you going and why are you get and and why are you going there? So where are you going? Why are you going there? And then how are you getting there? But you can't lose sight of those micro decisions and you have to be mindful in those short term, nearer term tactics that either are going to get to that, you know, vision, that long game, or potentially derail you from, from getting there. And, um, you know, I think, you know, in customer service, in my, my last corporate job, uh, when I was the VP of customer service at Starbucks, you know, really we had a customer service strategy and we had big ambitions and goals. And I still listen to customer calls every day on my way into work, right? And if a customer was frustrated with something or the agent needed some extra support and helping to solve the problem, like those are things I also had to make sure we take care of now. Because if we don't, those things can compound and then you're not going to get to that end game. And I think it's the same in running, right? Like I actually training for my first ultra right now and that means every day I need to do my prehab and make sure I'm stretching and foam rolling. Those are the little things, you know, that if I don't do them now, then when that ultra comes and is, and hopefully I can come out of that feeling, my body feeling strong and um, that I can t- t- take that challenge. But I have to be mindful of those little decisions I'm making every day between now and then. So, but remembering the why. So part of that big picture, that strategic is really, as I mentioned, is really around understanding your purpose. Like, where are you going and why do you want to go there? Whether it's running or creating amazing customer experiences. 